I'd like to look at how I can get a straight line equation given two points. Now I'm going to do in this video a quick sketch, not an accurate drawing, but a quick sketch to illustrate the method behind it. But in a second video, I'm going to do this without a sketch, just to show you do not need to draw. But for the first couple, you might want to draw just to get your confidence up and to see what's happening. So straight line passes through these points. So I'm going to just plot these points. And again, remember, this is a sketch. It's not an accurate drawing. So this one here is at 0, 5. And this one here is at 4, 13. So 4, 13. Let's just put it roughly up here. And I've got this straight line that joins them. So remember that a straight line has the equation y equals mx plus c. And I'm looking for m and I'm looking for c. Now quite clearly I can see that the c number is 5. I chose an easy example to begin with. So that one's easy to just see. But I'm actually going to show you how you can work out c in this video. Now I'm going to have to work out the m. Now the m is the rise over the run. So I need the rise over the run. For this I need to draw a right angled triangle, so I need to draw a triangle that comes down like that and I need to know the length of this line. So this line has a height of 13. I look at the y numbers here, 13, and I look at this x number, excuse me, this y number is 5. So this line is 13 take away 5. And that's the difference in the y numbers. 13 take away 5. And that's got to be put over the run. And so I draw the second part of my right angle triangle and I think about how long is that line. So that line, the x coordinate here is 4 and the x coordinate here is 0. So that's 4 take away 0. So that goes on the bottom and that's my run. 8 divided by 2, sorry, 8 divided by 4 rather, gives me 2. So here we are, I've got my gradient as 2. Now I want to just look at what I've just done here and think about a general way of working it out. Well, notice how I took the second y coordinate. Uh, I beg your pardon, this should be an M. So I'm going to take the second y coordinate, 13, and I took away the first y coordinate, which was 5. Then I took the second x coordinate and took away the first x coordinate, which was 0. And this thing here is the kind of general equation for getting the gradient if I don't want to draw out a line. Now, I've already said that this is c, so I've got y equals 2x plus c, but let's see if we haven't got such a nice convenient point as this, how we could work out c. We can get c by putting in either of these two points into my equation. So I can put 4 in as x, Thirteen in as y, so I have thirteen equals eight plus c. So it equals eight plus c. So c is five. So that's how come I end up with y equals two x, the gradient from the rise over the run, plus the five. Now I've got a more advanced video where we're going to do something a little bit harder without drawing all of these triangles.